Camp Pendleton decided to raise the stakes on their training regimen by bringing the war in Iraq to its doorstep. Insurgent forces assembled outside Pendleton's Talega training area June 4th through the 8th, but the Marines of 1st Battalion, 11th Marine Regiment, were ready for them. The artillery Marines used the training exercise to develop their ability to serve as a security battalion for the coalition air base located in Alta Cata. 111's unique mission in Iraq required the cannon cockers to undergo more infantry style training rather than that of a traditional artillery unit. This is the first time many of the Artie Marines have been asked to trade in their howitzers for M16s, which they believe will help them hone their skills as basic riflemen. You know, get you ready for the real thing, you know, refine techniques and everything, you know, get it all locked on. While at Talega, the unit participated in various security operations. They practice handling many situations commonly experienced while serving overseas. The Arty Marines rehearsed patrolling through Iraqi villages and conducted several convoy operations. Iraqi role players and uniform interpreters came out to provide their support by providing a sense of realism throughout the entire week of training. All of the role players who participated in the event are American citizens of Iraqi descent. The role players understand the vital part they play during training events like this one. This is the wonderful things for the troop to get them familiar with the, with the area. So when they go there, they'll know what the cultures look like, what they're going to face. So when they go there, they won't be just uh, shocked, you know. They get culture shocks and, you know, they'll know what they're going to face. Course evaluators lurk behind the scenes for most of the week of training, jotting down notes on the Marines' performance. The notes provided both good and bad feedback to help the Marines become more effective. They get a good general sense of what might go on and how they should react, and then once they go over there, they're able to get in the AO, they're able to operate, they're able to react and act with the Iraqis. That will create a sense of security with them, and that's when they can actually use the training and expound on what they've actually done. This is the first time the final exercise, or FINAX, has ever been held. But according to course officials, the exercise has exceeded all expectations. Overall, it's been a, it's been a very successful operation. We, we brought a lot of units together, a lot of personnel, a lot of equipment. The training evolution has not only been a challenge for the 111 Warriors, but for the training coordinators as well. The challenge has been creating an exercise that is subjectively and objectively evaluated according to training standards for the Marine Corps for 111 so that uh, we're providing them as, as realistic a scenario and as realistic training as we can prior to their deployment to Iraq. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Corporal Ryan Trevino.